Hey, Walking Dead fans, let's talk a little bit in this video about a cure or immunity. Who could be immune? If anyone could be immune? A lot of questions you guys have asked and asked me to do a video on, and I don't know if I've done a video exactly on this subject by itself, but I have talked about it in other videos and what maybe somebody said on a panel at a Comic Con or something like that. But it was a requested video, and let's go into some of the theories that are out there. And we can go ahead at the first of the video and just say, no one is immune that I'm aware of. And Robert Kirkman doesn't have any plans to do that. Rick's not immune. Carl, as we found out, was not immune. And we'll look at what Robert Kirkman said about the cure thing. And we'll also talk about Judith Grimes, of course, and are babies born after... Uh, the outbreak started, could they be immune? Could Judith be immune? So here's what Robert Kirkman, creator of the comic, has said about a cure. He said, that would be terrible. It's not a storyline that I like. He said, one, because it's been done on a lot of other zombie stories, and two, because you know it's kind of a mythology-breaking proposition. You don't want that kind of thing as far as somebody being immune, and we have dabbled in that a little bit on the other show, Fear the Walking Dead. And what he means about that, if you've seen Fear the Walking Dead, I would say maybe in season two, I think it was season two, there was this guy that said he had been bit by a zombie and didn't turn. And he used that kind of as a power, as to be a leader or people to think that he was a great man or something like that. But it ended up that it really wasn't a walker that bit him, so he lied the whole time. One of the biggest theories of immunity comes with Rick. And because he was in a coma back at the beginning, some people say in theories that maybe Rick actually died, but the virus brought him back. But instead of bringing him back as a walker, he just comes back as Rick. And I find a lot of flaws in that theory, especially if you go on into the series, that same theory kind of carries on into Rick didn't survive this point and Rick didn't survive this point. He actually might have died right here, but then he came back as Rick. That definitely makes for some interesting talk. Rick might have died in the hospital and the virus brought him back. And for some reason, Rick is immune. And the thing is, is he immune to death? If he got shot and died, would he just come back? Is he immune to a walker bite? If he got bit by a walker, he wouldn't turn. There's just a lot of speculation there and a ton of theories taking it in all different directions. And even though the comic is Carl's story, Robert Kirkman has said it's not really Rick's story, it's Carl's story. As we know in the show, the show is not Carl's story, as we found out. And while we're on the subject of the comic and Rick, this is what Robert Kirkman said about the fate of Rick in the comics. He was asked if Rick could die in the comics, and Robert Kirkman said, yeah, Rick could go at any time. I think that Carl could carry the book now. I know that there are interesting stories I could do with him. Andrea or Michonne, and Andrea has since died in the comic, he goes on to say, to a certain extent, I think it would be interesting to follow Negan for a little bit and to see what that story would be like. And when Negan left in the comics, they all said, everybody involved with the comics said, he's not coming back. He's not coming back. He's not ever coming back. I announced in a news video that the latest cover that they've released, a tease cover for the next comic issue supposedly has Negan on the cover Negan's coming back and in the comics there's this huge commonwealth story that's taking place with Rick and that group could Robert Kirkman be doing what he said here that he would like to follow Negan for a little bit Kirkman went on to say I definitely think that Rick has been the anchor for the series and maybe the anchor for the series for a long time I do have plans for him and I know where his story is going but I promise that Rick will not survive the entire run of the book. He said, I think the book will go past 300 issues at this point. Charlie and I absolutely love what we're doing, and it is exactly the thing I've wanted to do ever since I wanted to do comics. I'm having the time of my life. The book is going to go on for a long time, and no one is safe, not even Rick. And as far as the Judith thing goes, Judith died back during the prison in the comics, and Robert Kirkman has actually always wanted, or at least in the seasons prior wanted to kill off judith in the show but spoiler alert for the walking dead up to season nine as we know we've lost carl and rick and judith has stepped up to become a main character so i'm not really sure what robert kirkman thinks about that having really wanted to kill judith off in the tv show 
earlier on. And if you saw a couple videos earlier, there's a Judith Grimes video. Kaylee Fleming, the actress, is getting paid a ton of money. Uh, she just signed a new contract. So it really looks like Judith's going to be there for a while in the show. But all of these cure and immunity theories kind of are basically the same. Judith, born after the outbreak happened. Carl was born before, so that's why he died, and Judith may not die if she gets bitten. But here's the thing. She may not have the virus. That may be a thing. Let's go with that. Let's say children born after the outbreak are immune for some reason, whatever. But does that mean that if they get bitten, they won't turn? I don't think so, because that's still the virus getting into their system. I think that theory would just point to if they get shot in the chest and die, they wouldn't reanimate. But I do think if they got bit by a walker, they would get infected, get the fever, die, and possibly reanimate, or just die. There's just a lot of speculation going on there, and we've already heard from Robert Kirkman that it's probably not going to happen. But within all of that, suddenly, Andrew Lincoln, Rick Grimes, leaves the TV show. And it seems like all of the clues are pointing to they're doing experiments or something on these people, on the walkers, on live people, something. Something's going down, it seems like. All of these clues are hinting to that, that this sci-fi scientist, something that they've left out of the show all this time, could be in the movies. But have they found a cure? Have they found immunity? I don't think so. I think it would be a classic they're trying to weaponize the walkers possibly so with the questions you guys have been asking me about do you think there's immunity do you think that judith is immune and i would say no i don't think anyone is immune in this story and they're not heading in that direction do you think there's a cure i do not and i don't think they're heading in that direction either so i know they haven't touched on it in the comics or the shows and they don't want to robert kirkman has just said it repeatedly that's not where he wants to go it's not about zombies or a cure or immunity it's simply about survival Robert Kirkman said he didn't write The Walking Dead about the scientist uh, side of things too much, the military side of things too much. He said that's what all the other zombie stories and movies and things do. He just wanted this to be a survival story. But this still brings us to the Rick Grimes movies and what they could be about. The whole A and B mystery, the whole helicopters flying around. They got to have some good resources and to just fly around and pick up random people just seems weird and odd it's definitely something i'm looking forward to see how it all plays out it is my prediction that they could be military or scientist group or a faction thereof but i don't know if there is much trying to find a cure or immunity as to use the walkers in some other way so sorry this video was so sporadic just throwing out ideas but i know a lot of you guys already know fleshing out all of these theories and stuff like that i didn't have to go through that again and flesh out each individual theory the video would have been really long but just to throw it out there as far as Cure Immunity and Rick's movies, I wanted to get your guys' thoughts and what you thought about the stuff in this video. What you thought about Robert Kirkman and some of the stuff that he said and it just being a survival story. I know some of you guys want that in the show or to see that. We just may not ever get to see that. But as fans of the channel, I've been listening to you guys and what you said and what you've been wanting. And I am shooting a Walking Dead fan film, a little web series that I'm going to present to you guys hopefully soon. And it has a lot of those elements in there. So look forward to that. It's called The Blood Path. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hit that notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.